Uncle Tom's Cabin, in Full Uncle Tom's Cabin, or Life Among the Lowly, novel by Harriet Beecher Stowe, published in serialized form in the United States in 1851-52 and in book form in 1852. An abolitionist novel, it achieved wide popularity, particularly among white readers in the North, by vividly dramatizing the experience of slavery. Uncle Tom's Cabin tells the story of Uncle Tom, an enslaved person, depicted as saintly and dignified, noble and steadfast in his beliefs. While being transported by boat to auction in New Orleans, Tom saves the life of little Eva, an angelic and forgiving young girl, whose grateful father then purchases Tom. Eva and Tom soon become great friends. Always frail, Eva's health begins to decline rapidly, and on her deathbed she asks her father to free all his enslaved people. He makes plans to do so but is then killed, and the brutal Simon Legree, Tom's new owner, has Tom whipped to death after he refuses to divulge the whereabouts of certain escaped slaves. Tom maintains a steadfastly Christian attitude toward his own suffering, and Stowe imbues Tom's death with echoes of Christ's. Simon Legree, the principal villain in the story, represents greed and brutality, a man who chose sin over reform. Legree forces enslaved persons into different roles in his life. A woman named Cassie is forced to live with him. When Legree buys Tom, he also buys a 15-year-old girl named Emmeline, whom he intends to keep as a replacement for Cassie. Through punishment and reward, Legree turns Quimbo and Sambo into his companions and enforcers. The two men are coerced into beating other enslaved people at Legree's command. It is Quimbo and Sambo who whip Tom to his death, as Tom lay dying, they express remorse and shame. Tom forgives them before he dies. Uncle Tom's Cabin was an immediate sensation and was taken up eagerly by abolitionists in the North, while, along with its author, it was vehemently denounced in the South, where reading or possessing the book became an extremely dangerous enterprise. Nonetheless, some 300,000 copies of Uncle Tom's Cabin were sold in the United States during the year after its publication, and it also sold well in England. Stowe was enthusiastically received on a visit to England in 1853, and there she formed friendships with many leading literary figures. Uncle Tom's Cabin was adapted for theater multiple times beginning in 1852 because the novel made use of the themes and techniques of theatrical melodrama popular at the time, its transition to the stage was easy. These adaptations played to capacity audiences in the United States and contributed to the already significant popularity of Stowe's novel in the North and the animosity toward it in the South. They became a staple of touring companies through the rest of the 19th century and into the 20th, Uncle Tom's Cabin later was adapted to film beginning in the silent film era in the first part of the 20th century. The popularity of the story at that time meant that it was easier for audiences to understand. Later attempts at film production in English failed due to protests against race-based discrimination, although it eventually was adapted as a made-for-television drama in the 1980s. The story also was adapted to film in other languages, including German, and was recreated in various animated productions, including cartoons produced by Walt Disney and Warner Brothers. A major theme in Uncle Tom's Cabin is the problem of slavery and the treatment of humans as property, concepts that Stowe counterbalanced against the morality of Christianity. Stowe's depiction of slavery in her novel was informed by her Christianity and by her immersion in abolitionist writings. She also drew on her personal experience during the 1830s and 40s while living in Cincinnati, Ohio, which was a destination for those escaping slavery in Kentucky and other southern states. In Uncle Tom's Cabin she made her case against slavery by cataloging the suffering experienced by enslaved people and by showing that their owners were morally broken. Stowe also published a collection of documents and testimony, a key to Uncle Tom's Cabin, 1853, that she used to prove the truth of her novel's representation of slavery. Uncle Tom's Cabin combined the elements of contemporary humor and sentimental fiction in such a powerful manner that, according to some, it helped to precipitate the Civil War.
The role of Uncle Tom's Cabin as a cause of the American Civil War is rooted in a statement typically rendered as So You're the Little Woman. Who wrote the book that made this great war? That is spuriously attributed to U.S. President Abraham Lincoln. According to scholar Daniel R. Valero, this comment, supposedly made by Lincoln to Stowe in December 1862, originated in Stowe family tradition and did not appear in print until 1896, albeit is, is this the little woman who made the Great War? That Lincoln almost certainly did not say these words, however, has not prevented them from being cited repeatedly as Uncle Tom's Cabin's legacy. Another noted theme in Uncle Tom's Cabin is female virtue, with its portrayal of women in stereotypical domestic roles and with less conventional characters. Several of the story's female characters show ethical and moral dignity, including Emily Shelby, the wife of an enslaver who has moral influence over her husband's enslaved people. Mrs. Shelby's maid, a young woman named Eliza, is a bold character whose actions are motivated by fear and maternal love. Eliza successfully escapes slavery with her son, fleeing to the north and eventually making her way to Liberia with her son and husband. Eva is the embodiment of moral purity, a young, innocent girl. Although sometimes regarded as cliché, Stowe's empowerment of women in Uncle Tom's Cabin nonetheless drew attention to the influence of women and the importance of women's rights. Criticism The novel's reputation became problematic during the 20th century. In a 1952 introduction to the novel, Langston Hughes referred to Uncle Tom's Cabin as a moral battle cry, but his introduction's effort to redeem the novel came after Richard Wright and James Baldwin, among other black writers, had attacked it during the 1930s and 40s. The term Uncle Tom also became an insult used to describe a black person who shows subservience to whites or is otherwise considered complicit with oppression by whites. This sense can be traced to at least the early 20th century, and early public use of it, circa 1920, has been attributed variously to Marcus Garvey and George Alexander Maguire. Today Uncle Tom's Cabin's depiction of its black characters is seen as racist and patronizing. 